So one additional thing I wanted to share with you is how to create a singularity image and how to run singularity container. So in many situations when you run your simulation on, on cluster, you, you will not have access to Docker, but you will be able to use singularity. This is, uh, this is the, my situation when I want to use MIT cluster of in mind. I, I'm able to use singularity, but not Docker. So one thing, one important thing to remember is that in order to build a singularity image, you have to be a special user or have like a root privilege on the system. So you would often have to uh, have to build a singularity image on your local machine and then move the image to your to the cluster in, your, in order to run it. So on my left terminal um, on my on my local system, because I'm using OS X, I cannot install a uh, uh, singularity directly, but I can use a vagrant box in order to run singularity. And you can find uh, the way how to install and how to use singularity on different machines, on different uh, operating systems, on singularity website. So I'm already in a vagrant uh, box, and I can you can see that I have singularity installed. I can always run help. I can also run check the version. So all the examples I'm running today is using uh, are using Singularity version three point four two. So um, so you remember like we were using newer Docker in order to build a, a Docker file, and using Do uh, Docker file we were building a Docker image. It will be very similar situation uh, for singularity. So you remember, like I was using this this command to run to create Docker file. So right now, first of all, I will I will not be using a um, newer Docker container, but I have already newer Docker installed in this environment. So I will be using newer Docker directly. So we'll be using new docker generate command and instead of docker, I will use singularity. That's the other option that I have. And I will save everything, not in docker file, but in the in singularity file. And now you can see what is inside. So you see like, uh, so new Docker instead of Docker file created singularity file, and I can use this file to build a, a singularity image. So we can run singularity help again to see what is the common. And you can see that we, can, we have singularity build command so we can also check the help of this specific command. So you see, in order to build a new image, uh, I should use singularity build, image path, and build specification. And the build specification in our case is the singularity file. And our, so I will use singularity build, and I should use the, because singularity image is, a one, is one file, I should uh, provide a path and I will just use the name myfsl. And I will use singularity file as our specification. Oh, and here you have like, so I forgot to use, um, to use sudo because, and I have the error that you must be the root user on the system. And that is why I'm adding sudo before the command. And this is the command that I will not be able to run on our MIT cluster because I cannot use sudo on, 
the open mind cluster. So now you see that the that the um, singularity will build an FSL image, and we will not work uh, wait for this. I already built the image, and I already move an FSL image on my open mind cluster. So I will show you how to run our command using the uh, the image that I have already on open mind. So you can see, it's like when I check my check my um, directory, you will see that I have FSL IMG. And this is the, the image that I will be running. So you can check that, that I also have the version on singul uh, like Singularity software installed on OpenMind, and we can check the version. And it's also 3.41. So when we run help, you can see that you have like various options. The one that I was mentioning during, um, during lecture was exec, was use, uh, it was like run a command within a container, but there is also a command that is called run. And this is run the user defined default command within a container. So in this case, we'll be using um, this option because and maybe I will kill the build first because there's no point of like, I just wanted to show you that I was, that it was working, but I can actually kill this. So remember when I was showing you the cut singularity file, it's, it is important that at, at the end, because we are installing FSL, there is something that is called the unscript part. And this basically uh, sets the FSL environments. So this is the reason why instead of exec, we should be using uh, run so we have FSL ready to use. So, and we can use singularity run. FSL ng, and we can check that bed is indeed inside. So you see, you already have the bed is installed within the image, and Singularity just printed out, printed the, the help for us. So you remember, like last time when we were running Sing uh, FSL from Docker container, we had to mount two directories: the di directory with data and with with output, and this will be exactly the same for singularity. So coming back to previous command is, so we have to mount, and instead of using dash V, we're using dash capital V, we have to provide a directory with data. And this is, I have in data. And that directory that will be inside the container. And we can also like call it slash data. Remember that uh, we were using read only for the for our input data, and we can have the, exactly the same here. And now we have to, in order to save this in output directory, we also should mount this. So we could mount output within, and call it output within the, the image, within the container. So now we can provide, we should provide the name of the, of the image and inside the container and an output. And we can run. Okay, so now we can check the output directory. And we can see that we just created an output file. So we generate this, this output file running a bad, com a bad command within the singularity container. So you, you can see that this is pretty similar, similar process as running the, this command within Docker container. Okay, thank you so much.